All right, everyone, we are live. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day so far. I think things are about to get better for us. We're going to check out some of this redacted mode Battlefield 2042 stuff. I've put together some music in the background just to get everything a little bit hyped. Yeah, it's good music, that. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing okay in the chat. Um, I've got the main live stream up here already. Um, can I put that in full screen? Yeah, I can put that in full screen. Fantastic. Um, so it's going to go live in about 30 minutes. But I thought, you know what? We'll have a, we'll have a little chat. Just talk about stuff and see where we go. Um, I've got um, Broken Machine in the Discord. Me and Broken probably be streaming this together. So you'll hear us talking a little bit, which will be cool. Uh, and I think Stodd might join in as well. There might be some others. But um, yeah, we're going to watch the EA Play live stream. And hopefully we'll get some juicy Battlefield 2042 information. Uh, nice to see everyone in the chat though. Nightbot doing his thing. Just <laughs> already striking down the ban hammer. Spencer, nice to see you, buddy. Um, Nico, nice to see you. Brian, Matt, nice to see you. Hope you're all having good evenings, afternoons, mornings, wherever you happen to be. Um, but yeah, looking, uh, this is going to be exciting. It's Bigsy, thank you for the three, buddy. What do you think it's going to be? Well, the rumor is that it was going to be some kind of like, I don't know, reimagined thing. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to wait and see. It's being made by, well... We should probably clarify this first of all because I'm going to call them a different name. This mode that we're um, that we're going to see is made by Ripple Effect, the, but Ripple Effect are the Dice LA team. They've just been renamed and they're now their own studio. They're no longer called Dice LA. Um, they're going to start working on their own projects in the future, but they've worked on this for um, for 2042. So that's going to be pretty interesting i can see people on the main live stream because they can see the chat <laughs> and they're then saying hello and so it comes through on the stream which is kind of interesting um but yeah so uh ripple effect have made this and they're calling it a love letter to the uh the battlefield franchise uh killer clown nice to see you in the chat buddy aiden nice to see you bilal hello good afternoon good morning david ban hammer everyone loves a ban hammer Everyone loves a band hammer. Oh, this music's getting me hyped already. <laughs> Nico, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a good evening. PlayStation Network is down right now. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, didn't a load of stuff go down before Battlefield 2042 was revealed last month? I think that happened, actually. Which is kind of interesting. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um... That's that's a coincidence that might be a little bit too far. God, the chat is moving so fast on my screen. I can't actually... I can't read it. Dice LA literally saved BF4. Yeah, that is a very, very good point, actually. So the Ripple Effect team saved BF4. They also did half the DLCs for BF1. Steam is down as well? Bloody hell, half the internet's down. Massive internet outage, apparently. Well, here's hoping it doesn't affect... YouTube and Google services because then at least we could stay streaming. That would be awesome. Um, <laughs> this love letter bear give me a hard on. Bloody hell. It's only half past five. Calm down. <laughs> uh, Ryan, thank you for the 20. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. appreciate all your support. But Ryan, thank you for the 20. I hope you have uh, a good stream today. hope we keep you entertained. Lots of poggers in the chat. Some people have um, have asked me, by the way, where I get uh, this Battlefield 2042 sounding music from. Um, obviously, I'm always on the lookout for this kind of stuff. So, um, you give me one second. Let me just see if I can bring it up. His name is Afro Music. Um, A-F-R-O-H Music. That's his name. Uh, and he's produced a few different tracks for 2042. Uh, and this is one of them. I think this might be the uh, Hourglass theme that he made. It's a really nice little tune, actually. Uh, and he made the one previous to this as well. Um, I think the music's only last about 20 minutes or so. Oh, that just refreshed on my screen. Did you see that? You'll see that in a second. Yeah, it just refreshed. That's interesting. Because at the moment, we're, I'm doing this meme again. 
where I play get the playback speed to go a bit faster because uh, so I can get right to the front of the YouTube stream buffer. That's what I want. Um, that's what I want to happen anyway. Um, can I get that menu to go away? Yeah, I can. There we go. Uh, Big Alest, your name. Uh, Westy, would you like to see Rush become the number one game mode again? I would absolutely love that because Rush is the best. Rush is such a good game mode. It's so much better than Conquest. I'll explain why in a second. Shane, thank you for the five, buddy. Really appreciate it. NW Jennings, thank you for the five. Please announce War Penguins. Can we get penguins as a gadget that you could throw at people and then they explode? That'd be lovely. <laughs> uh, Scott G, thank you for becoming a member of the channel as well, buddy. Really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting. Tom Briggs, thank you for the two. Appreciate that. Right. The reason Rush is better than anything else. Okay. Um, there's less objectives. And I know that sounds stupid, but it focuses everyone around smaller number of objectives so you get more focused, concentrated gameplay. It doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean like smaller scale. That just means, you know, more people focusing on less objectives, which means therefore you're likely to get a higher magnitude of extreme gameplay in those situations. The MCOMs, they can't be swung one way or the other. So it's not like a backwards forwards defense attack. There is a defending team and there is an attacking team. That's what I like. And it rotates after every match, so you move around in, in that aspect. Um, and then multiple objectives throughout the map. You make better use of the map because you procedurally move through it from start to finish. You could have four MCOM sections going through MCOM section one, two, three, and four. So you get to move all the way through a map and play it in a different way that perhaps you wouldn't have done it before. Rush is brilliant. Rush is the best game mode in Battlefield ever. And the fact that they absolutely butchered it in uh in battlefield one and then turned it into a limited time mode in battlefield five was just a massive kick in the face so the fact that i would just love it if it would come back rush is the best bring it back <laughs> um sean spitzer thank you for the 20 dude really appreciate that buddy you are amazing no you're amazing thank you for the 20 hope you have a good stream uh rb zilla Thank you for the eight. Do you think Battlefield 2042 will outdo Warzone as in more players? Um, I think that Warzone being free to play and Battlefield 2042 being a paid product um, will obviously have a bearing um, on player numbers. Warzone being free to play, you know, there's no barrier to entry, so more people are likely to just go and give that a go. Whereas putting down $60 on a game like Battlefield, that is a big barrier to entry. You have to commit $60 to that. So I don't think it will ever beat it in terms of player numbers. But I, I could be wrong. It could be an absolute hoggerific game and we all love it. Which we're all hoping for, aren't we? <laughs> we all hope that's the case. But um, I think that probably Battlefield 2042 will have less players because it's a paid product. But I think it will still be really popular because it's one of those modern, slightly futuristic shooters. Which I think always do really well, really well. Look at Modern Warfare 2019. Probably one. It was the best selling COD of all time when it launched. And then you go back to Battlefield 4. I know it had a rough start. But, you know, Battlefield 4. People still playing it eight years later. You know, people don't play eight year old games if they're not good. And lots of people are playing Battlefield 4. So that that's that's good. Um, but yeah, thank you for the eight, buddy. And thank you for the question as well. Benny, nice to see you in the chat, buddy. Nice to see you. Uh, just making sure I cover off all the questions and all of the mentions and everything else. Yep, good. And it's refreshed on the screen again. Um, will I stop playing Warzone? Probably not. I enjoy Warzone. I'd like to play Battlefield and Warzone at the same time. That'd be good fun. Just seeing more and more people in the chat here on the main screen that are saying hello to me. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Tactical Scots, thanks for hanging out in the chat today, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Tactical Scots, for uh, for looking after the chat. Being the admin that we all want to be. I need I need to know if you're eating a sausage roll, says Patrick. Um, I'm not eating a sausage roll. I haven't had any food outside of ice cream today. I went out and got ice cream with my girlfriend this afternoon. Sat out in the nearly 30 degree sun in the UK. Uh, that was pretty hot, but <laughs> the ice cream was nice. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, I'm just going to send Broken a message, actually, and see if he's ready to start or whether he wants to kick in now. See if he... Uh, see if he wants to join. 
Eric, good to see you in the chat, buddy. Who the hell wants to play COD Vanguard when Battlefield 2042 is letting you make a World War 2 mode? Don't really know what you're meaning by that. Vanguard's probably going to be really good. I mean, if it ties into Warzone, then it'll be popular regardless. Techno Dub, thank you for the five, dude. Battlefield 2042 hype. What's your favourite weapon in Battlefield of all time? Um, okay, Battlefield 3 AEK 971. Especially using it on Noshar Canal's TDM running around like a madman. That that gun, the AEK, was part of a group of three. The AEK, the M16, the M416 from Battlefield 3. They were the god gun assault rifles pretty much for the entire game's life. And I was team AEK. I know a lot of people like the M16. It was arguably better, but I just preferred the AEK for the rate of fire. Absolutely loved that thing. Um, couldn't get enough of it. That's probably my favourite gun. And then maybe... Okay, I'll, I'll pick a sniper. The M24 from, from Bad Company 2. That was really good. The Marine M40. That was really good. So, um, really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was a good question. Thank you, Techno Dub. Appreciate it. And thank you for the five. Hope you have a good stream. Benny, will you play the new COD? <laughs> of course, Benny. Uh, there's always going to be love in my heart for you and Call of Duty. <laughs> Chips Ahoy Milk. Nice to see you in the chat is that crossbow video done i've been waiting for almost a year now the crossbow video is not done it probably won't be done i've had many many other things just unfortunately building up and um yeah unfortunately i just haven't been able to get that done right let's see if broken is joining in still being dj broken let's see Charles Murphy, thank you for the five. What is your meal deal of choice? I'm assuming you're talking about a Tesco meal deal. And if you are, Tesco meal deal. Okay, uh, chicken, bacon, and stuffing sandwich. Um, crisps, I'm probably going to say McCoy's Flame Grilled Steak or Walker's Sensation Sweet Chili or whatever it's called. Uh, and then drink. Mm. That's a tr tricky one. What's the... Um, What's the, uh, what's the smoothie ones they do? Is it Innocent Smoothies? Is that the one? They do those smaller bottles, the red one. The red Innocent Smoothie is really good. I'd probably go with that. I'd say that's probably my uh, my best one. We're getting a bit of lag on the mainstream at the moment. Not sure what's happening with that. Might be to do with the... Uh, might be to do with the slight internet outage issues we've got at the moment. But that's not for me. That's just in general. There are some internet problems right now. Um... Alex Inder, thank you for the five. Super hyped to watch some Battlefield 2042 footage. Can you give me a shout out? So can I give a shout out to my girlfriend, Jenna Tolls? Yes, I can. Jenna, I hope you're having a great day. Your partner wants me to say your name on stream. So I'm saying your name on stream and I hope you have a great day. Uh, and I hope he's paying attention to you. <laughs> no, appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for the, for the five. I hope you enjoy the stream. And, uh, and Jenna, I'm sure you'll get your partner back at some point later. <laughs> uh, favorite gun in Warzone, says Paddy. Um, what's going to be my favorite gun in Warzone? Probably the M4. I think the M4 with monolithic, grenadier, uh, commando, 60 rounds. And then what optic? VLK? Yeah, probably good. <laughs> um, straight up gamer Westy and Jack are amazing lol best Battlefield YouTubers oh thanks wouldn't it be cool if they dropped a campaign mission with every season that comes out Corrosive King thank you for the five good question Um, well 2042 doesn't have a single player does it oh my music stopped I shall play it again um yeah, 2042 doesn't have a single player, but they're going to tell the story through multiplayer. So you want a single player like mission or something every season. I guess it would be kind of cool, but I think with the focus being on multiplayer, I'm not sure how many people would actually play it. I mean, there were rumors that like the completion rate of Battlefield campaigns was really, really low, which is why they ditched it just in favor of like multiplayer instead. So um, maybe that's the reason why they've, they're not going to do that. I mean, it's a cool idea. Don't get me wrong. I think it would be cool if they did that. 
But uh, because the game's not focusing on single player, then uh, yeah. Zero, thank you for the five, dude. Appreciate it. Best loadout for the M13. This is a Battlefield stream, by the way. But okay, we can we can talk about something else. We can talk about M13 for a minute. M13, Monolithic, Tempest Marksman, Commando, 60 round, VLK, or maybe the C480 Pro. Maybe the C480. I see Stod in the uh, in the Discord. Give me a second. Stoddy. Hey, 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 hey. What's there up? it is. Hey, we all live. Hey. Hello. Hey, we're all live. No one's saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I actually had your voice muted. I was like, what the hell? Who yeah, I, I, I realized I had the, vo the voice activation on and I just started ah. saying random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fine. Is your, uh, are you watching it on YouTube? Like, have you got it up on yeah, your that, screen that, yet? That, that, that's the plan, yeah. Well, um, apparently there's a major DNS site outage for lots of other things like mm. Steam, PSN, Xbox Live and various other services. It's as if EA has, you know, Conveniently taken everything else offline. <laughs> also, people I mean, have one way to get oh, people got, over. They got some bangers on the go. Yeah, some great music, which I've muted and put uh, Battlefield music on instead. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra Chaos, thank you for the uh, for the five. What are you hoping for in the 2042 reveal? Also, I love the fact that my favorite Battlefield and Warzone YouTuber has the same name as me. Oh, is your name Cameron as well? Oh, that's fantastic, man. We can be brothers. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, the donation, buddy. Really appreciate that. What am I hoping for? Um, I want more gameplay. I want more actual gameplay. You know, where you shoot the gun. I want more gameplay. I want to be actually be able to see 2042 in action. That would be great. My game, my screen just completely refreshed there. I don't know really know what happened there. That's what I want to see. That's really what I want to see. And then uh, Cole Cooper. Thank you for the two. How often do you reflect on how cool your job is? <laughs> that's a really good question um thanks for giving it to me so i can answer it um when i first went full-time with youtube i thought it was the coolest thing in the world and i still think it's an absolutely amazing job but just like any job um after you do it for a while it becomes normal right like so for me it's normal to get up every morning about half past seven take my dog out for a walk eat some breakfast have a coffee about like quarter to nine, nine o'clock in the morning, I walk into my office, I turn my computer on, I sit down at my desk, I work till lunchtime, I stop and have lunch, I work in the afternoon, play with the guys, I finish around 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening, stop playing, I walk out of my office, I walk into the living room, I sit down with my girlfriend, we watch Netflix, we play with the dog and do normal stuff. Like I've, I've literally built YouTube into a normal nine to five job because that for me is a really good way of keeping it in check. Because I think I have a really cool job. I always want to keep my feet f planted firmly on the ground. So the best way to do that is to make it feel like a normal job. I really enjoy my normal job. But it is a great job. Uh, I love the fact that I get to play games and, and, and all that stuff. It, it's great fun. I want. I need to go live. What, what, what's happening here? And then hit play. Going... And then we go in here, playback speed two, so we get right to the front of the buffer. That's awesome. Uh, but yes, thank you, Cole Cooper, for that question. I appreciate it. Chris Duke, um, thanks for the question. And thank you for the five. Uh, thanks for making my workday a little bit more enjoyable. Keep up the great content. Ah, oh, Chris, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. Tomographic, I see you in the chat. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Just got to make sure I keep up with the chat here because it's just going mental. Um, Ramon, thank you for the 500, dude. Uh, sending love from the Philippines. Huge fan of your work. What are your thoughts about the lawsuit against Activision, the allegations against their employees? So unfortunate. Um, it is, but it's not unfortunate. It's just completely unacceptable, really, isn't it? Like the the behaviour that's being cited in that lawsuit is absolutely abhorrent, and it shouldn't be happening. And these people should just be booted out of the industry. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous that we're getting so many of these stories coming out about assault and all this stuff against all people. It doesn't just have to be, you know, this lawsuit in particular, but, like, it's just it's just not on, really. Like, in any job, the, that kind of behaviour just shouldn't really exist. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm interested to see what happens with the lawsuit, but ultimately, like, the lawsuit doesn't matter. It's the behaviour that's been happening and may continue to happen regardless, and it just shouldn't be happening. There's no There's no place for it. Tactical Scottish, thank you again for uh, for just populating the chat and being there to answer questions. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. 
AJ Rocker, will you miss the attrition system? No, I will not miss the attrition system in any way, shape or form. No, I will not miss it. I will not. Um, did we miss someone else? Is there another message? I may have missed somebody else's. Oh, Matthew Probst. Uh, need a game with you, Jack Stodd, Tom Stone, Acu like Broken and Fuglet all at once would be epic. Well, Battlefield's probably the game for that, isn't it? <laughs> Battlefield is probably the game for that. Um, we can get multiple people in the server at the same time. Cameron Holmes. I am also a Cameron. Cameron Master Race. <laughs> Cameron Army, whatever you want to call it. And Cameron's Unite. Thank you for the two, buddy. Appreciate it. Right, I'm going to jump back into the uh, the Discord. Huh? Hello? 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 Uh, is this on? Is it on? It is on. We've still got nine minutes to go, Weston. Yeah. Uh, have you done the fast forward to two times? <gasps> is that good? Are you that... watching it on YouTube? I was on Twitch. Ah, uh, uh, Twitch I, with the bad bit, right? Oh, no. <laughs> everyone said it Oh, no. What well, on Twitch? It's just having issues, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, YouTube's the is way. It, is your stream still up, Stud? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, there was problems with, uh, yesterday, but it's fine today. When's that contract sliding under your door? <laughs> <laughs> Join us now. We don't get outages. <laughs> hey, I've reached, I've reached peak live. Is it is as far as it can go? It's as far as it can go now. I don't even know if that's the case. Are you listening to the music on your stream? Oh, yeah, it's great. Love it. When you play it at two times speed, it sounds absolutely yeah. mental. <laughs> I can't believe this is the official Battlefield 2042 theme tune. It's incredible, isn't it? Let me turn it on <laughs> yeah, for my stream so they can hear it. It's pretty relaxing. Yeah, it's great. Oh, yeah. What's this? A little bit of... Um... Well, I don't even know what kind of music this is. I'm not cool enough to know what this is. Uh, Niffin, thank you for the 10. What battlefield did you put the most hours into? It's BF3 for me, around 1,500. BF3 for me, just shy of 1,000 hours into BF3. Oh, no, no, no. Bad Company 2, 1,200 hours. 1,000 on uh, PlayStation 3 and like 200 on PC. Absolutely smashed it. Absolutely smashed it, buddy. And Cole Cooper, again, thank you for the two. Played The Last of Us, The Last of Us 2. Never got round to playing them. Have watched through both of them on YouTube, someone else playing them. And I actually really enjoyed that experience. So I probably won't play them because I've seen someone else play them and experienced it vicariously through them. <laughs> that was good fun. Kyle, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Appreciate your support of the channel. This music is just banging. Absolutely banging. This music is top tier. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Is this the loading theme to ki uh, Kaleidoscope, is it? Hmm. I wonder if I can make it go faster again. Oh no, I've refreshed my page. Oh no. <gasps> no, now you're going to have to go... Oh, <laughs> dear. oh, now I can play it really Probably fast for my, for my chat, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is mental. <laughs> So excited. Yeah, me too. Oh, I wonder what they're going to show. I wonder. I wonder, yeah. Big wonders. Huge wonders. We have announced a Battlefield Overwatch system where you can decide whether people are cheaters or not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible. The content would be flowing. Yeah, it would be amazing. Didn't uh, CSGO has the Overwatch system, doesn't it? Where you can, what you used to be able to watch people. Jack did a couple of videos on it back in the day, I think. Yeah, great content. You're almost guaranteed to use. Yeah, exactly. And you'd be like, look at this absolute clown. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, this music is absolutely poggers. Uh, DJ Cunningham, thank you for the five. The Scar in Warzone is low-key slapping right now in solos and duos. If it had a 45-round mag, it would be a very viable option in trios and quads. Totally agree with you. I think they should oh, give it... No. Oh, no. Oh, it says five it... minutes. We actually got a countdown now. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, actually... what's your... What are you on? I'm on 551 or 451. 449. 
448. Yeah. 446. We're literally on the same one. No, don't touch a single key on your keyboard. Don't touch one. If you well, if you press the back arrow, that's it, you're done. One of my uh like what's it called? Uh macro keys doubles as an enter or a, a an enter button and it will just refresh my screen and it's really annoying. This music is terrible. Yeah, but it's, it's supposed to be just, you know, copyright free. Or is it copyright free? Am I ruined? Sims 5, Sims I just 5 music. <laughs> what time are you on now? Uh, 4.18. Yeah, 4.17. 4, 16. 4, 16. Okay, I'm at 20, 19, quick, quick. Come on, keep fast forwarding, Broken. Come on. <laughs> I'm at 13, 12. Do, 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 oh. do, 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 do. I'm going to like the official stream because I'm that nice. Here we go, big poggers. When do you think they're going to slide it into the stream, guys? Do you think it's going to be first up in the middle or I right think at it'll the be end? Middle. I think it's going to be yeah, middle. I'm middle. hoping it's middle. Do you remember the mm. uh, the Xbox one? It was right in the middle, and no one expected it. <laughs> when we got the multiplayer gameplay, everyone was like, "Oh no, it'll be at the end, or it'll be at the, after all the Xbox stuff," and then it was like fifth on the list. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, just joined with uh, the membership and the first time joining a membership from YouTube. Proud to be with everyone. Oh, Kyle, you're a legend, mate. Thank you for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. Anyone that wants to become a member, just click the join button and you can join. Um, you don't have to. It's just a way to support me. But uh, you also get access to some cool emotes that you can use uh, down on the uh, the, the uh, smiley face at the bottom. If you click that, it will, uh, it will uh, show you the emotes. <laughs> That'll feel for teenagers, this music. Oh, bloody hell. My phone's making noises. Oliver Coles, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate that. Hope you enjoy your stay here on the channel. Numbers are climbing on the stream. Nearly 5,000 people watching now. This is pretty mental. Monsieur Bear, nice to see you in the chat. David, love your videos. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm going to go full screen for this in a minute. Once it hits the uh, countdown, I'll go full screen. And then that way we can uh, all experience it as, the, as, as EA intended. <laughs> Yeah, anyone that hasn't liked the stream yet, if you go ahead and just drop a like on this stream, that would be absolutely amazing. There's like 5,000 people watching. So if we could get as many likes as possible, I'll I'll love you long time. And I promise... Are you guys looking forward to the Sims edition ending. of um, Volcano Online? The Sims edition of Volcano Online? Yeah, they're, they're adding volcanoes to the Sims for the next expansion. When is Fortnite and the Sims just going to mesh into well. one game? What do you mean? Well, they're the same thing, aren't they? It's just bright colours. You build walls. Build walls. Build a life in Fortnite. You know, Ninja did that. Yeah. He built a life in Fortnite. You shout at children. Well, they just announced a Ferrari crossover for Fortnite. Did you know that? Really? I find that a little bit weird. Yes, me too. But I, then again, I also found it weird when the rappers... I mean, it's not like those... Rappers are directed at children either, but hey, no. you had me. I wanted that. Yeah, Travis it's Scott. Cash. Cash. <laughs> Get cash. That's the only reason. Right here we go. Yeah, Countdown's less than a minute, weird, isn't it? Because the what they're basically—it's like um, uh, what's it called? Use putting Ferraris in the minds of children. Uh, you can obtain this at some point playing, in whilst they're playing Fortnite. You can obtain this at some point in your life. Yeah, literally. I'm, I'm half expecting Bosch washing machines to end up in like, he's like, hey, look at this one. Bosch washing machine. Right, 20 seconds, let's go. Full screen Do you time. remember when they put uh, BF3 maps in, was it PGA Tour, was it? Oh yeah, they put the BF4 Paracel Storm map in it, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, that was it, yeah. Right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, A giant egg. A giant egg. I was like, what? <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, look, Battlefield 2042, here it is! That's my mixtape! Hey! hey. 
<laughs> Look, it's broken. It's <laughs> 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 <This> broken. <laughs> hey. Sergeant Danger Cow, look at him. There, <laughs> Sergeant Danger Cow. What's this? Um, what is this? Why are we being trolled? Oh, oh for God. it's cottage living, of cottage. course. Yeah, just oh pay, 50, God, pay 50 Japanese breakfast. <laughs> I love, love, love that video. What's up, everyone? I'm Alex Ackerman. And I'm Andy McNamara. And you are watching the 2021 I know that table. I think I've seen that table before. Concert for Cows. That's yeah. got to be a first, but probably my favorite way to open a show ever. It's the amazing. latest expansion. Right, for countdown to EA Play Live, 14 minutes days. and 20 so seconds. Go get your cross-stitch on. What's Check this? Out after the show. All right, in just a few minutes, the EA Play Live main event is coming with all the news, sweepstakes, and surprises you know and love. But first, we want to take a moment to recap all the news that's been revealed this summer. And what a summer it's been. Oh, yeah. I personally have done nothing else but play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Mm, I think you actually mean Romance Garrus, <laughs> or maybe that's just me. It's mm. been I'll a turn the huge summer off, guys. regardless for EA Originals. The talented Joseph Fares and the team over at Hazelight gifted us the critically acclaimed and my personal favorite guys we've had a countdown which was my stream and now we've got a countdown to the live bit but within the live stream so this is countdown section or what wait it says it's still got 13 years yeah it's there's another countdown within the stream if i'd have known this with their magical world let's take a look at the story trailer i've known this holding on bricks get the sausage roll cheeky sausage roll get cheeky sausage roll and down your neck oh Fortnite 2. <laughs> Where everyone's destiny is Battlefield Heroes 2 Fortnite Edition with Sims. Cows. Dice. Sponsored by Ferrari. And, the one <laughs> and a Bosch <laughs> oven. <laughs> when a child comes of age, oh dear. Must roll this dice just Do you remember those old game shows so where they'd bring out like TVs and washing machines? Yes. And stuff? Oh, Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway. Do you remember watching that? They'd be like, you can win a washing machine. What? I don't already have one. <laughs> oh, dear. What is this? What are we watching right now? This kind of just happened. I don't really... Yeah, I wasn't paying much attention to what they were saying, so maybe I should have... Did they even intro this game? I think they probably did. I just wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> I mean, you know. Do you know what, guys? If there's a countdown playing right now, it's perfect time to play an advert on your stream. Are you uh... This is a bit mental, guys, isn't it? I'm not really sure what they're showing this for. We're not interested in this. We want Battlefield. Come on. I'm joking. Oh, they've got plenty of games to show. Uh, don't even know where Battlefield is, like, on the docket. I don't know if it's, like, first, second, third, fourth, whatever. So, um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Is it actually, is this dice in video game form? This is dice just being thrown oh, around. Oh, it literally is, yeah. This is literally, literally dice, please. And the, all, <laughs> all these... <laughs> the game is literally called dice, dice please. please. And all the characters are the community members just literally throwing the dice around, like, come on, make this, make that. <laughs> oh god, this is a bit nuts, isn't it? Where, where are you? It's got a Nightmare Before Christmas vibe. Mm. Yeah, it kind of has. Alice Madness Returns, my chat says. Is it uh, well. Ori in the Blind Forest Part 3? Oh god, what is this? It's a bit scary. What do we do to those who stand in our way? We destroy them, my queen. Ooh, it's got a bit dark. Lost in random? Lost it. in lost. Stay tuned for more on Lost in Random, including an exclusive first look at combat games. Is that the mask from BF5? <laughs> Was that the hockey mask that everyone <laughs> that we get really angry at? Do you notice it's like made a comeback in 2042? It's on one of the specialists. He's got like that white mask on his face. <laughs> they mentioned it. They mentioned it. They said oh, Battlefield 2042. Spotlight series. Over the last few weeks, we've gathered creative we leaders from across the EA studios to share their insights and some exciting news. Yeah, we did. Here are a few of the highlights. Oh, highlights. Oh, that's Apex. We kept the that's Apex. Did the Beyonce drop. We're nearly there. Oh, we're on the, we're in the right genre. Wallace. Exactly. 
Oh no, we've Hyper switched. Motion is a next -gen exclusive Final stand battlefield game, behind. Yeah? That brings mm. game I've seen that in real life at the uh, the LA office. Hyper Motion Bloody massive, that, that statue. It's huge. Never and got to go on. Oh, oh dude, you'll time. get to go one. Honestly, it's such a nice office. If you, and once we're allowed to, you know, live life again. FIFA! Madden! Scouting as a whole Games we all love. What else so you is start there? things off essentially by getting a baseline scouting on every player and one of the big goals I basically had was I it's like real life team but team a video team. game but I want to remove some of the tediousness of it oh EA yeah, originals here we go sort of golden age at the moment where this freedom is allowed and uh, people like myself oh is this uh, knockout city start to see themselves coming through in these stories and I, I hope that authenticity isn't lost you know I think uh, that's exactly why we're in these studios because that authenticity is worth the struggle. It's worth fighting for. You need to ask people for a bit of faith to stick with the idea and just stay with it. And okay, we're, we're not, not sure me, what, what it will be. And they will be like, you know what? Go for it. They give you that space and room to play, which is so, so beautiful and rare to see. Oh, a little now bit like that for me. To make something totally great and unique. It's hard in a movie today because it's been going on for longer. <laughs> How comes you get all the cool games? What's your time is saying? Mine's eight. Oh, you here we go. Expect from Battlefield 2042 Ooh. at EA Play Live. So I think it's that mode that was on the whiteboard for many decades and many years and never kind of happened. And now Christian and his team and LA have been, you know, orchestrating and building it. So Christian. I'm hoping that the, the players, the community will uh, will really embrace and like what we're going to show them. Lars, Mr. Battlefield Gustafsson, <laughs> who is jumping around on the Zoom chair. So get a sturdy chair ready to watch it. <laughs> Yeah, they're literally, I guarantee you, based You're on that little video alone, shooters, I think they're going to leave Battlefield sports, to the end. Or gaming in general, the spotlights have Ooh, something for everyone. Do you think so? Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to sit through channel. Sims. A ton of great content <laughs> there. Yes, there is. So and excited. Of EA Sports, it's been a big month for FIFA. <laughs> I can't I'm wait. I'm literally buzzing here. For another look at the FIFA right. still. <gasps> the FIFA 2022, 22 trailer no. with added 2042 clips. <laughs> wait, they. A motion captured, and then the Everyone? AI. The AI is still terrible, by the way. <laughs> Game engine footage simulated. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Oh, hell. That was a good transition. That was like that. not a bad idea for an ad, though. Yes, yeah, it's, it's cool. Well, apparently 2023, uh, FIFA 23 is going to be uh, free to play cross platform. Apparently, wow. did you see? Did you see that uh, Pez has now been renamed yeah. eFootball and has gone free to play? Oh, did you? Football name. You, you know how we Football. thought Good Ways matchmaking was bad in Warzone. Apparently, in FIFA, it is rough. Oh yeah, it's, it's absolutely really? terrible. Yeah, all the guys like Lasty and Bateson, they complain all the time about it. <laughs> I mean, do they? Do they even? Do they still play the actual game? Oh yeah, yeah. Of course they yeah. do. They just hate their lives while they do it. <laughs> a bit like us when we play Warzone. <laughs> <Good, good. laughs> is there like no casual mode on that game, or is it like how does it work? It's called career mode, and you don't play, you don't like do anything. Like you don't play against other people. You just play against the computer and like you know pick a team, manage it, oh, yeah. like take it out the leagues or whatever. A lot of um, there are a couple of YouTubers that do like career mode and stuff, but you know Ultimate Team is is where the the views are at, so that's where most of the YouTubers hang out. Makes sense, right? Yeah, I, need to correct yeah, I thought it was that all was about the FIFA dream. coins and stuff beast, for content. Beast, I thought that's like what it all was. Yeah, I mean they just buy coins and put it through as a business expense. <laughs> Can we do that with points? FIFA mm -hmm. won't have news. Absolutely. In the main show. Because we're going to give it to you right now. Oh, unbelievable. Oh. Yes. Fans of FIFA Ultimate Team already know that this year some fan favorite footballers are returning in the form of FIFA Ultimate Team Heroes. Mm -hmm. Nine of them have been revealed so far, and right now we're going to share two more. Ooh, okay. First up, it's heroic Premier League striker turned manager, Ali Gunnar Solskjaer. And second, a fine man. Wow, Ali Gunnar Solskjaer. <laughs> I don't know any of these people as someone who doesn't follow football. Wow. I can't believe it. This, this is the count. This is still the countdown yeah. to the countdown. Yeah, countdown to the countdown to the countdown. <laughs> we'll get there. We will get there, guys. We'll get there. Get their hands on the game early. Yes, they do. But that is just one benefit of being a member. 
And EA Can I have 24-2 early? To more from your I mean, if, games, if we say it enough, if we set time to eight times speed and just speed up to the end. <laughs> and speaking of rewards, we'll you've unlocked the fast speed pack. Great prizes during the main show, including gear from Logitech, Polaris, plus thousands of game codes. And EA Play Get, uh, tech from Polaris. That's so the company sure that makes the quad bike in 2042. So they're just going to give away some quad already. bikes during the get during the stream. Oh, yeah, I'll have yes, one. That's right. Because I'm going to EA Play so next year on one of them. <laughs> I'd do an integration for that. Be like, here's my new quad bike. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're very welcome. That you can earn. How much does one of those cost? So I don't know. A bit, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe probably a few grand, surely. Yeah, I guess. I mean. Probably got if a few models, I would have thought. About, different we got our different first stuff. Look at Seer just a few days ago. Check it out. This. It has been seen. A woman will rise. Bloody hell, what's the happening here? Mark of the moth. It's Apex then. Is this Apex? I think so, it's gotta be. Not sure. Yeah, I'm not quite right. sure what's happening here. We're watching a woman give birth. She gives birth to the prodigy Apex player. There he is. He's cracked. 25 KD. As a kid. Oh. Drawing us all to the flame. You know the people that go mental for Apex law, by the way. You know their trailers. They they get absolutely insane views on their trailers. They are well done, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. I just kind of wish there was something within the game that would like tell the story rather than them having to just do it via YouTube trailers. Wouldn't it be someone better? Just said, someone just said that's Big Jezza. <laughs> Big Jezza on the doll. That's Big Jezza on the doll. Yeah. That's where he's gone. <laughs> this, is, this, this is his story. <laughs> The law of Big Jezza. How I got into YouTuber lobbies How three days in a row. Three days in a row. It's a man with an eye. This one's done by the Gorillas animator. Oh, Apparently, okay. According to Twitch chat, again. This is Sparta. He's, he's Big Jezza. <laughs> Big Jezza on the doll. Apex wow, Legends. Apex team is getting wilder and wilder with that was a giant egg. I can't wait to see more. <laughs> Trust me, you're not alone. I love that trailer. Strike. We have a lot more Never. And that is now Do you reckon he can throw the hat? Last recap from us what, and just like, you know, melee him across the neck? A bit like uh, the guy from Mortal You'll Kombat. Or the guy from James Bond that takes off his hat and like kills yeah. people with it. In the F1 series. That'd be amazing. Just oh, here we go. F1 ago. now. If you follow F1, you know it's been an absolutely crazy year so far with some amazing rivalries. Oh, yeah. Well, if you want to put yourself right in the middle of that, Cody's is here to make that dream a reality. Do Let's EA do F1 games? Yeah, they F1 bought Codemasters, didn't they? Um, they bought Codemasters and now they get the F1 stuff. Gets to pit ahead of me. And they give his is that Frostbite? Only new power uh, no, I don't think it is. And he gets to go out so they made this game before EA um, took over uh, and then EA published it as their first game from the after the acquisition. I like the music. Ready to... Uh, you need to mute the music because that's copyrighted. Is it? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Royal Blood. Yeah, good. I love well. DMCA. Uh, DMCA. A well thought out system. They need to introduce some legislation which is fair use of some description. Yeah, if it's not your fault, it just starts playing. Like, what the hell are you supposed to do? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. We've only got a minute left on the countdown, and then I guess maybe it does actually go to the live bit because this is clearly pre-recorded. Has is... it still got the music on? Um, I muted it. Yep. Just wait until the <laughs> just wait until the trailer's over, because then can, can you do the the sound effects? A giant <laughs> egg. Oh, Why oh, am I oh, the oh, thickest oh, boy? <laughs> and a creamy fucking. <laughs> he starts the. <laughs> I find salad oh. in a pasty. <laughs> Fuck me. Even Lucky's here. <laughs> oh man. Oh dear. Meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow. Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton and I win everything. Just a few 
Okay, music's over. We're about to begin. There we go. We did. Can't possibly wait. What we? Oh. I've been Andy McNamara. I think you still are Andy McNamara, and I'm Alex Ackerman. Thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy the show. Here we go. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it is. Oh, let's see. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that's not it then. Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh. Headgear. Oh. oh, this is just the logo, isn't it? Quite like it. It's quite nice. Might have to that's speed fancy. this up for a second. Yeah, I'm oh, watching yeah, there's, gonna be lots of, there's gonna be lots of copyright music, isn't there? I forgot. Uh, there might not be too much. Hopefully. Uh, they cleared Coming it. They cleared it. From Los they said. Angeles, California. This is EA Play Live 2021. Here we go. I'm your host, WWE superstar Xavier Woods, a.k.a. Austin Creed, and we have an amazing show for you today. We would be, we we would be here, wouldn't we? Gameplay. Usually. Yeah, we would yeah. normally be there Including in the crowd. A brand new multiplayer Aww. experience for Battlefield 2020. <laughs> he said it. They won't even let me tease. Plus, just like last year, we've got some amazing prizes to give away. Prizes? So keep an eye out throughout the show for That's all I've tuned in for, guys. They'll spell out a secret code that you'll need at the end ah, of the show. Ah, I. <laughs> it wasn't last time it literally just spelled EA Play Live. <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Legendary Edition, Dirt 5, and more. So let's get to it. Guys, I'm not gonna mute. I'm not gonna lower my mic. This is the same mic volume that I always have for all of my content. It's absolutely fine. This guy doing like Let's a little tribal dance. He's just doing a tribal dance. In oh, this is F1. Codemasters. Yeah. I mean, I like F1, but I don't play the game. Fan favorite racing titles from Need for Speed to Burnout to Real Racing. And now that the experts at Codemasters are joining the EA family, that incredible lineup just I'm too scared to go to the bathroom in case there's copyright music. <laughs> just mute it. Put some uh, elevator no, music on. It's cleared. Oh, they right, okay. It's cleared. So yeah, yeah. Like racing, if you like being in the driver's seat, you're going to love what Codemasters has cooked up for us today. But first, let's take a quick look at what they do best. Music. And here it comes. Great. No, I think this is fine. No, no, what? No, no. Right, turning that down. <laughs> not nah, now I'm going to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. dear. Do you reckon it's not going to be good? Well, I, I, I think it. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't want to risk it, man. Yeah, let's not risk it. Sorry, stream. You know, <laughs> you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I crashed! Oh, Ooh, airbag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that does look good. I mean, yeah, it looks cool. Oh, hang on a minute. Does F1 have this in it? F1 doesn't have June buggies. I was gonna say. Is this uh, the, the what's the other series? Well, it's not for it's not Forza Horizon, is it? No. It's oh, dirt. Dirt. Is it dirt? dirt. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dirt. Because of course they make that as well. Basically, EA were like, we already make one racing game. Let's buy a company that makes two more. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what other racing game do they have? Uh, they've got uh, F1 and then the Dirt series. Mm, test Drive, did they have? Yeah, I think Test Drive, maybe. Okay, maybe we can turn it up again now. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard that you might have a little surprise for us today. Yes, I do, and I don't know if you can tell, Austin, but I am so excited because on behalf of the entire Codemasters team... This is the world premiere trailer for Grid Legends. Oh, Grid Legends. I think we've got another one. It's Apex Legends, but cars. <laughs> That's the guy from Sex Education on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Such, Quite a, good, good, that show. such a good series. Gillian Anderson. Oh, bloody hell. Mm. She was good in X Files, but bloody hell. She's aged well. Dozens of drivers. She's like lovely. a fine wine. Yeah, like a fine wine. She's lovely. Mm. My goal is to become the first woman ever to win the championship. They know who I am. So they've literally done... A, is this, this like a story mode? Live action? action? Soon to be six times. Mm. That's a new record. Okay. Legal, I can build it to win. Touring cars. Muscle cars. Open wheel. Drift. Sounds like the Battlefield music in the background. Is this fine? Yeah, this is fine. This is just cinematic music. Mm. 
none of us are turning the music down when it comes I, to the battlefield. I bet you I still get some, not a strike, but I'll get like it muted. Maybe. You keep pulling up there, that stops. Oh, apparently EA have tweeted saying they've gotten licenses for streamers to play all of the music as part of EA Live. Bring it on, baby. Apparently that's what they've said. That's why we're here. Becky, this this looks incredible Hog on top of the gameplay oh, and the cards the environments. EA. Now we've got all these characters e that seem e to have different e motivations. I'm Triple e. incredibly invested. It looks like you guys are really up in Need the for ante speed on story legends. Well, first and foremost, the grid series has always been about delivering gameplay excellence. And with grid legends, you are still getting that same immersive racing experience that you know and love. But this time we are taking things up a notch and we're adding another layer on top of that. We are really proud of this new story mode. Well, I, I do love a good story and I feel like I've seen a lot of those faces somewhere before. Yeah, we had the absolute pleasure of working with the incredibly talented Shuti Gatwa, who plays the wonderful Eric in Netflix's Sex Education. We yes. also captured the entire thing using extended reality or XR, where if you've been watching Disney's The Mandalorian, you will have seen that tech in action. It's what they used to create those incredible worlds. <laughs> well, it, it sounds amazing, but this obviously isn't racing uh, in space, right? It's the it's the it's the it's the false green screen. Yeah, the false green screen. The green green screen. Like everything, everything's like an LED. The slightly greener screen. It's also been really great for our actors because they're acting against something that's visually there. It's not the same as oh, brain that's so weird. Mm. capture. They are stepping into that's our mental. grid world and reacting with it. It sounds great. Can you give us any hints on the story or would that be spoilers? What? Without any spoilers, um, we are giving you a classic underdog tale. We were putting you straight into the driver's seat right in the middle of the grid world series where you'll be facing off against the all dominant i like her West shirt team. codemaster shirt that's that cool that does not like to share the time when when is any of the, the stories story, not an underdog story <laughs> it's always <laughs> an underdog story it is always uh, an underdog story can you talk about those a little bit it's the oh, most yeah, cliche because we are giving you big rigs stadium trucks drift cars open wheelers muscle cars electric cars we are giving you hyper cars like the Aston Martin Martin Valkyrie. Have you seen that car? <laughs> and we are also giving you multi-class mixed racing, which means that you can take any Wreck of those fest? cars and put them together on the same track. Well, I just saw Wreck Big Rick fest. take out an open wheeler in the trailer and I, Demolition I, I Derby. It. So is there anything else that you can tell us about Grid Legends? Without giving too much away, there is a ton of new stuff for the fans to sink their teeth into, including some new uh, modes such as boost mode and elimination mode. Uh, we've also got some fancy new locations like the iconic city of Moscow. I don't mean to uh, distract from what she's saying, but do you think Lester, she's a little bit nervous? She sounds a little but, bit nervous I mean, and like a little bit breathless talking. Is this is this even live though? I don't know. No. Or is it pre-recorded? It's got to be pre-recorded. Yeah. Is he standing in front of a giant green screen anyway? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's yeah. just literally looking at a camera. Or he's looking at a screen no, 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 off screen. No, I think, I think it's the LED thing. I think it is just LEDs. That's I don't think it's green screen. All right, folks. So we're just getting started. We've mm. seen you can see legends. the LEDs. Yeah. Now it's time for a different breed of legend. Different breed of legend. This Apex legend. <sighs> yeah. The music. Apex. Yeah, uh, Apex time. I, so I love. I absolutely love Apex. Two years ago, and Apex then Legends Warzone. Came out I am nowhere. terrible at well, it. Well, it's really, it's really hard. Really hard. Just keeps <laughs> getting bigger. We've got more modes, It's a movement for me. I just feel like I'm just so far back compared so to most players now. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, they bounce around. You just like, we what? Have how do you do that? <laughs> Ladies and the, the crouch spam. I give yeah, you bouncing Apex off walls, Legends changing direction emergence. and maintaining your speed. Like, that's bonkers. Apex Legends Emergence. Change. Well, I, lo I love the um, I cinematics they do for everything. these. If only they did this all for Battlefield. If they did this for Battlefield 2042, because obviously oh, stories in multiplayer, tragedy. right? Is that supposed to be Mirage? And yeah, maybe. Reality. Yeah. I see it in the warrior who must choose between their new life and the annihilation of their home. I see it in a girl 
Tortured by revenge, embrace hope when love awakens her heart. I see it in me. A boy born under a bad omen. Turn his tail into a legend. Change is relentless. But that does not mean it cannot be beautiful. Throw the hat. Throw the hat. Come on. Throw the hat. Take comfort. Nothing lasts forever. You must adapt. Surrender. And embrace your true nature. A god. Know that you are not alone. Change comes for us all. Yeet. can burn its brightest. Change. Fight it and fall. Accept it and rise above. You didn't throw the hat. I'm disappointed. Yeah, but that was still really cool. I mean, that was very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Very good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm standing here like slack jawed watching this because there's so much to unpack from that trailer. So let's go ahead and meet the man with all the answers Apex game director Chad Grenier. Wow. So happy to have you here. Wow. Chad. Thanks, Austin. Happy to be here. Uh, before we get started wow. and get into it, I want to give a shout out to the amazing developers wow. at Respawn. Wow. Hey. All right. Well, a subset of them. Uh, if you love Apex, it's because of these amazing developers that are working hard uh, creating Apex Legends for us. Right, that's obviously uh, pre-recorded. Well, big love to the oh, whole yeah, Respawn yeah. team, especially <laughs> whoever came up with Lifeline, because that's my girl. We've got them all on okay. Zoom right now. A lot for us to talk about. That's definitely not been told to, to, to just clap. That's yeah, all ability. of the developers. That's literally it. Twelve of them. He's got drones coming out of his chest. Please tell me about his kit. Yeah, similar to Bloodhound, Seer is all about tracking enemies, but in a different way and has a very unique kit. So while you're aiming down the sights, you'll have a heartbeat sensor that will give you hints as to where an enemy might be. Is it you LED's heartbeat them, sensor? Baby yeah, monitor. Which wah, wah. sends out some of those drones out of your chest and will actually Looks reveal really and good. track the enemy's location. The ultimate is really powerful, especially in certain gameplay situations. You can send out oh. hundreds of micro drones and create a sphere around an area that you choose. And all enemies that are moving quickly through that space are tracked. I love when there's new abilities that kind of change the game because this game obviously is always changing, always evolving. And whenever there's a new legend, wish I could get into Apex a bit more. I've just left it so way too late. With those incredible abilities, how do you think? Uh, yeah, going it's just to change it's the just game? the yeah, skill again, level now is so. It, it'll be um, like trying to play Bloodhound, Warzone in six months. Seer you know, <laughs> nowhere new players going to be able to. Nope. Mm -hmm. You know. So, He's a Have bit fun. more of a still like Fortnite three legend. years ago. It was never fun. And you're oh, going to see, I think, some interactions because of I that can't sphere build, I therefore I never win. If you're moving quickly through that space, Tilted your towers, footsteps are revealed. <laughs> that was like season four. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But now if you're walking slowly, yeah, can't go back. you can avoid the can't detection. I simply so can't. I think you'll see some interesting gameplay experiences and new ways to play. Yeah. Um, with slowing it down a bit. Yeah, it sounds like once the ring gets tight, especially, you're going to have a lot of new ways to play this game. Um, but this past season, for instance, it felt like Apex really moved beyond Battle Royale with the introduction of arenas. 
So what's the reaction been like for you guys? The fan reaction has been really great. Uh, we're seeing a lot of players enjoy arenas, which is which is awesome. We're really excited to finally have a way to play Apex Legends is actually good Battle as well. Mm. And uh, yeah, people are loving it. So we've got Basically, they're the going to transform Apex Legends awesome. into Titanfall 3. At wanna, some point, it's know, just going to go that way. But we've got a lot planned for Beyond it. Would, right. That would make yeah. well, over. I yeah. But I think they'd want to make the cash, though. Are coming as well. So can you give us some I think, information I think they'd want to just sell it. Do a single player as well. We wanted to make sure that we were seeing how players were adapting to the mode, make sure to get the balance right, make sure that the the price and the economy is correct and now we'll be introducing the ranked mode in emergence so it's a bit of a different ranked system than we have in in the battle royale mode so we're really excited for you to get your hands on it well it's yeah. really cool to see apex always doing new things like for instance uh leaning into the competitive scene with things like the apex legends global series so are we going to see more of the people ALG hugging that? in 2021 yeah, when did that happen? that's not acceptable of ALGS, our How dare they? recently <laughs> concluded and it was amazing there's like so many tactics and amazing plays in there. Many teams were fighting for the championship in the last round. We hit record numbers, so we're really excited in September to be kicking off year two of the LGS. And for the first time, we're gonna be inviting <laughs> PlayStation and Xbox players to compete alongside the PC players, really see who's best. Ah, they're bringing up the consoles to the so, PC table. Um, we have more I mean, um, Apex, Apex has the same problem that aim assist is very well, strong, I'm strong in, uh, on PC. Basically, do you reckon that's why in Warzone, um, aim assist is so strong because they're not allowed FOV sliders? <laughs> they just want everyone to play on PC. I don't know why. How strong is it on Switch? I can show you a finisher. On Switch? 30 FPS, 720. But that's what I mean. The aim assist for console and PC, I think, is the same. Yeah. This game demands so much of us. Here we go. But from you, she demands. Or brutal. Everything. 26. Yep, that's, that's all I need to see. Four days. <laughs> oh, interesting. So awesome. But Chad, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Austin. Of course. Of course. And Bye, again, Chad. See you later. Shout out to the it's whole Chad. Respawn team. See you later. Now, for the Apex fans watching us on Twitch today, Respawn is hooking you up with an exclusive Jumpmaster gun charm. So make sure you've got your Twitch for and oh, man. Account for Battlefield players. You get one mm -hmm. show to earn that drop. <laughs> but that's not the only thing we're giving out today. Oh. Keep an eye out for the hidden letters that spell out a secret phrase because at the end of the show, we'll give you a link where you can enter that code for your chance to win some great prizes, including codes for EA originals like Knockout then. City <laughs> and It Takes Two. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of originals, let's oh. head across the ocean for some stop motion and this check is out the This is not it. This is not it. Original Please just give us Battlefield. Come on. We've already seen this. We just literally saw the whole thing. We've just seen this. I'm going to leave this until the last Dice, please. Literally. Dice, please. Hello? He stalled. Bewildered by the voice coming from somewhere. Ready for the cringe fest. Cringe. Yeah. Cringe. Cringe. Random. This is Anyway, This is not pre recorded. Zoink Scoop. himself. I had forgotten to mention the Tribeca Film Festival selection. It was a. Is he from wrestling? Is that why? Yeah, this guy's Film WWE. Festival. He's a good yeah. actor. The line again. Yeah, so he's used to cringe. More enthusiastically. <laughs> Look, man, I'm trying to run a whole show. And, and I've just lost half my viewers. Oh. Really selling it. Could you I'm just let me intro the segment? <laughs> Cringe, 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 uh -oh. cringe, 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 a giant egg. It was a an official egg. Tribeca Film Festival selection this summer, and it's coming soon. Joining us from Gothenburg, Sweden, to tell us more is Zoink Creative Director Olav Redmo. Oh, okay. Hello, Austin. <laughs> How's it going, Olav? Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on Tribeca. Well, that's a haircut. It's so cool to see video games <laughs> right yeah. next to movies hey, being regarded as they should be. <laughs> Thank you, Austin. I, I'm so proud of the Sonic team and what we've accomplished, and I, I'm so happy about the selection because- You literally said Zoink Scoop. Really Zoink Scoop. Zoink. 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 Stop motion animation, Make dark it. fairy tales, and- and at Sonic, we're always trying to push narrative in video games. So I'm that is so a happy. bold haircut. Well, I I can't it's wait an to see more. Oh, love of yeah. my life. What do you have for us today? The Swedish I'm haircut that is. To share a first look at one of our most unique aspects of Lost You've been to Dice. You've seen what half Dice those people look like. Which is an exciting the hair's all over the place in Sweden. And time stop tactics, where every roll of the dice unleashes incredible powers out of the head of your Jack in the Box buddy, Dicey. Well, it sounds awesome. So let's take a look. 
Let's take a look under the hood. Once upon a time, there were two devoted sisters named Even and Ord. Cruelly separated by an evil queen and the roll of a dice. Haven't we just watched all of this? Yeah, we've basically mm -hmm. got the idea. With this little fella, <laughs> Even was determined to rescue her beloved sister. Ah, some people were like this sort of stuff. Some guy said it's not his hair, it's melted cheese. Leave <laughs> him alone. World of random, adventure and combat go hand in hand. Combat. Many peculiar characters There's going to be SBMM in this game, stud. We're in. Some will help. Here's the rose skin. Oh, you're an eight-sided dice. Going up against a six-sided dice. Oh my god, there's choices! They just had to show that. Like, look. There's choices. Can be traded for cards. Zoinks! Cards, I got cards here, the greatest cards in the British, mate! British! You want you want some cards, mate! What is going on in this? It's like they've got like six different concepts here. Melee, cards, um, dice please. RPG, dice. It looks a bit... Yeah. Quite convoluted. Well, that's indie for you. So it's it's a card game and melee? And, and chant? What? Uh -huh. Bring everything together. Hearthstone 3D edition. Yeah, basically. Impressive. <laughs> they were trying to explain it then, and I I completely got lost. Zoinks. Nice. Come on, let's get to be a 2042. It's going to be last. I'm guaranteeing you, 2042 is going to be last. Look at the time. The time is 37, right? This, mm -hmm. end, uh, this ends in like, what, 25 20 minutes? minutes? Yeah, 20 yeah. minutes. So, like, it's going to be a Or maybe they'll do a big segment at the end. Uh, big segment. You hear, you hear about New World melting graphics cards. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so basically, if you've got a really high powered graphics card, for some reason, that if you have the menu open, it just sets your. It just basically goes full power and fries it. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is going to be handing out graphics cards instead of going to space soon. <laughs> Alone, I already need to play this game. This guy needs to play this so game. Cool. Do you hear that? Oh, you it, need ha it happened to Aculite. Oh, oh no. Oh, what? Yeah, it, it bricked his 3090. So oh I no. I tried, I tried it. Awesome. What are we looking at and I, I'm surprised. So hopefully, I haven't saw, damaged my uh, 3090. It crashed three like times. This one, for instance, Ouch. Dice, which turns dice into this I'm not even touching that game. Screw that. Too risky. Uh, and where's the yeah, power I mean. of two? Let's use Way some, a giant risky. hammer, which also gives even super strength to be able to There's swing a giant hammer in this game, guys. I'm going to play it. I like it. But it's not just about offense. Like we have also, for instance, Uma's blessing, which comes from Uma, this old hidden Uma. witch, and she provides a bubble shield to protect even. And that's just a taste. Like there's a lot of different powers at your disposal. Some curse enemies, some heal even or create traps. Some arenas also work as giant board games affected by rolling dicey. So you're gonna have to try different tactics to conquer the queen's giant mad tabletop themed arenas. All right, Olav, obviously right, count next Olaf. question. You know it's coming. When can we play this game? Yeah, my favorite question. Lost in Random releases on September 10th on PC, console and Nintendo Switch. And you can pre-order starting right after the show. Yes. Uh, oh, and if you want a dice mm, pre-order now, role, he'll be available. Spend your money when you don't have to. Charm in one of my current favorites, Apex. So keep an eye out for that. Well, you all heard it here right, first. Come on. Battlefield, Ola, battlefield, battlefield, so battlefield, battlefield, Sims, today. Sims. No, I'm joking. Is it? it I think it's gonna be Sims first. Thanks. Sims. Well, FIFA. FIFA. Right. Right. Here we go. There's another EA original that's already here, and it's bringing that throwback playground. Oh my God. Knockout City. I'm talking about knock out. Uh, come on. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dropped earlier this year, Knockout City has had one hell of a summer <laughs> and they're just getting warmed up. Here with more is Crazy Taxi Bala DLC. Velen Studios in Crazy New York. Taxi. Thanks, Austin. I love that game. We're so grateful to Awful our community note. for the <laughs> massive response to Knockout City. With millions of new brawlers, hundreds of thousands of crews, 
and nearly a billion KOs landed. A billion. Your response has really been a knockout. <laughs> an indie team I thought he was going to say, disappointing. He <laughs> <having all of laughs> oh, looks like he was like, genuinely about to say like, something an negative. <laughs> and, I just say, and your response has been thank you. bad. Your response has At been launch, shite. we promised you new features and updates <laughs> that keep the game fresh and exciting. <laughs> Is this Today, the 3v3, deliver on that basically, uh, Battle on Royale dodgeball? Yeah, team, it's actually, it's pretty fun. It's my absolute thrill to I think it's got quite Knockout City, a relatively two, low skill ceiling there. Fight oh. at the movie. And, uh, look, it's, it's a bit like that Rocket game that EA made. And yeah, that's what I mean. They're, they're very similar kind of streets. Yeah, that Rocket game was a big mistake, though, because they, they put it out for 30 quid. Wasn't yeah. Knockout City free? Isn't it free? I think so. Maybe there's a story mode? A world where one hero rises to meet instant death. Regret. <laughs> a world where lovers chase their passions and feel the burn. A world where terror. Oh, this is all like movie themed. Where warriors fight for Dodge Brawl supremacy. Yeet! And teensy tiny brawlers battle it out in a child's bedroom? This season, bring your moves to the movies. Coming July 20... <coughs> oh man, that voice is murder on the pipes. The Hollywood Drive-In opens July 27th. This is we'll a bit mental. At the movies. It's I think showtime. this is the guy that does the voice for McCree. Oh. Mm -hmm. You saw it. We got uh, new what's his skins. Name? We got a new ball. Knockout City, baby. Season two. Oh, there's a B in, in the background there, guys. See that? You can play for B. Free. Oh. Yeah, is that not Matt Mercer? Sounds exactly like him. If Maybe. Come across me and my crew. We're called that baseline. You won't beat us because we're really good, but you'll have fun. And right now, it's available on all platforms with crossplay. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and get in there and give it a whirl. Oh. All right. Everyone. The moment now. that you have been waiting for <gasps> is here. Yes. Okay, 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 right. I'm well, gonna mute for yeah, a second. We're all gonna shut up. Here we we'll go. Back in a bit. You've seen the trailers, you've read the hot takes, and you already know that Battlefield is back, baby! You hear me? It's back! Battlefield is back! Baby, it's Battlefield! I can't wait to wingsuit Surfer Tornado. This game is gonna be so good. And in just a moment, we're revealing a brand new Battlefield 2042 experience. But first, for those who haven't been paying attention, here's what you've been missing out on. Looks like we're gonna watch a trailer for a breakdown of a, or a, yep. God, look at these maps. That's so cool. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, the Russian guy. He was amazing. This is On behalf of our entire team, we hope you're thrilled with what you've seen so far from Battlefield 2042. Loving it, Oscar. It's just the beginning. We have so much more to show you. Battlefield 2042 is built up by three epic experiences. Firstly, of course, All Out Warfare that we showed you earlier. Secondly, Hazard Zone that we'll show off later this year. And now, a new community-driven experience that we're happy to share with you today. Built by our old friends over at Triple Effect, formerly Dice LA, it's an experience designed from community feedback. It's an experience we've we dreamt go. about building we go, guys. for over a decade. This is it. So, let's have a look. Oh. There's Espinosa. He's one of the uh, specialists. Oh. No. M1 Garand was in there. 
No, I was just spit fire. <laughs> oh, the music's brilliant. That's Battlefield 3. That's Caspian Border. <laughs> Arica Harbor. The bad company grenade. That's sick. That's so cool. Oh, the tower still comes down, yes. That's so cool. That's really cool. This looks incredible. There's so many crazy things happening in this trailer. We got knives versus defibrillators. We got soldiers from every era. I have so many questions. So let's bring on an expert. Here to help us out is the general manager of Ripple Effect. We've got Christian Grass. Welcome, Christian. Hey, Austin. Thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. Of course. Thank you for being here. Now, that trailer, absolutely Ridiculous, like what the hell did we just see? So what you just saw was the Battlefield Portal. It's a new community-driven experience that gives players the freedom to write their own rules and shape their own battlefield. You can mix and match content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, BF3, and Battlefield 2042 to create brand new game modes. Then you can share and discover those on the Portal platform. And that's just what's coming at launch. This is a real love letter to the fans from our incredible team. And oh, oh, and this is your squad. Yes, this is the fantastic Ripple Effect team, and they deserve all the credit in the world for creating this great experience. We've had so much fun bringing back some of the most beloved vehicles, gadgets, weapons, and maps from past titles. Well, thank you all. Huge, huge credit to this amazing team and everyone who's made Battlefield 2042 possible. All right, so to bring it back, when you say beloved maps, we're we talking Caspian Border? Yes. Arica Harbor? Yes. El Alamein. Yes, El Alamein is also included. It's actually my all-time favorite map. Plus, we have Noshar Canal, Battle of the Bulge, and Valparaiso. And, of course, all seven of the new epic-scale maps already announced for 2042, they're also That's playable sick. in Portal. I love it. So 2042 it. maps are available maps, right? in Portal Absolutely. as well. Portal is a chance for the community to drive the platform. There's a whole slate of customization options and even an advanced logic editor for you to play around with. Tools that were previously only available to us on the development team. So that trailer, it was just packed with a ton of crazy moments. So I'm curious, how wild can we actually get with Portal? You can get pretty wild. Yeah? Okay, so can I pit World War II against 2042? Yes, you can. Okay, uh, what about game modes? Can I make an infection mode where it's me against a ton of super fast soldiers with knives? Absolutely. Okay, uh, what about shoddy snipes? But, but, but not just regular shoddy snipes, like, like, like a gun game with a whole bunch of shoddy snipes from all throughout history. That is a very specific idea there, Austin, but yes, actually you can. <sighs> Batten three for three, bring it home. Can I play 
as a penguin with a flamethrower. A penguin with a flamethrower? Yeah. No, I mean, look, no there are some limits. With it's not a level editor. No. You can't edit the maps themselves. And no, you can't play as a penguin with a flamethrower. All right, that's, that's fine. That's fine, I had to ask. But it does sound like there's a ton to play around with. Oh, yes. The options are pretty deep, and we're committed to working with the community to build out this suite of tools and content as the game evolves. We want this experience to go where you want to take it. We see the sandbox as a big part of the future of Battlefield 2042. Well, I assume that the community is going to have a field day with this. I really hope players will embrace Portal. Uh, that's who we built it for. Uh, in fact, we gave a sneak peek to a few members of the community to see what they could come up with. Oh, okay, I assume my invitation got lost in the mail, but that's fine, that's fine. Let's check it out. Two teams and two VIPs, but only that's one Freeman's way voice. to score. <laughs> this is VIP Fiesta by Courage. It's the US Gameplay, factions of boys. Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 facing off on Arica Harbor with 24 players and random loadouts. Die and you'll redeploy with an all-new loadout. Track down that enemy VIP and make it count. Or bring the power of 2042 to Caspian border and take on the forces of 1942. This is Quality vs. Quantity by Gabitron. small squad from 2042 are taking on 32 players from 1942. The future's got the hardware, but the past's got the numbers. Destroy those MCOMs. But do it before your tickets are up. You're not getting them back unless you clear the sector. Not enough memes? Fine. Not Set enough memes. For the fight of your lives with Robot Man by Redacted. 20 duck-sized EOD bots, <laughs> one horse-sized T-91. Settle your battlefield debates on who wins what. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> Come on, dude, Robot Man, what? This looks so much fun, but I need to know. Just pretend like the cameras aren't here, just me and you. Who's Redacted? Can't tell you that, sorry. But what I can tell you is that we're so excited for the players to create or simply discover their favorite new way to play Battlefield. And we can't wait to explore and try out the thousands of experiences our community will build once they have the tools in their hands. And we get our hands on Portal at launch, right? Yes. Okay. Portal will be available at launch, day one, along with a bunch of pre-made modes for you to try right away. Okay, this is, this is fantastic. Now, Christian, before you go, let me make sure that I have all of this straight. So on top of all the content and maps that have already been announced, we also get content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3, including six of the best maps of all time, and all that can be sliced, diced, and mixed together in Portal, and then we still have Hazard Zone coming later this year? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you, Austin. If you've always been a fan, or if you've never played Battlefield before, we want Battlefield 2042 to be the ultimate Battlefield experience. Christian, just, just thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, Austin. I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> All right, so Portal looks incredible, and we could end things there, but I don't think we're done just yet. We're gonna leave you with one more surprise. First, though, you remember that secret code? I hope you were paying attention because all of the letters okay, have been revealed. So... So if you want to win some awesome That's games and gear, Battlefield around, Portal. We're give you the link to enter let's let's go back and watch the the trailer yeah. again. Let's watch the trailer. Show off later this year. Here we go. And now a new community-driven experience that we're happy to share with you today, built by our old friends over at Triple Effect, formerly Dice LA. It's an experience designed from community feedback. It's an experience we've dreamt about building for over a decade. So. Let's have a look. Right, okay. Here we go. Watch the trailer again. This is such a cool way of showing off the content, man. Dark gun. Spass. XM4. XM8 family. This is so cool, man. Music is perfect as well. Gotta step it up, boys. 
Still got the voice, it's still got the audio from Bad Company 2. That's just awesome. That is awesome. Oh man. That this just, looks that's just incredible. So awesome, man. It's just so awesome. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the stream there because uh, I've got a video to show you in a few minutes' time, um, and you'll want to tune into that video. You'll definitely want to tune into that video. So, a massive thanks to everyone who's uh, who's been on the stream. Uh, thanks for being here and experiencing this with me. And uh, then you should absolutely go and watch the video I'm about to release on my channel in about three minutes' time. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you all soon. Incredible! There's so many crazy things happening in this trailer. We got knives versus defibrillators. We got soldiers from every era. I have so many questions. So 